Why are you still crying? Asks Luke. You were found. She's crying because Mozart died, says my mom. Mozart, says Violet. He's from history. He died like over 200 years ago. Is this some kind of joke? Nope, I'm afraid not, says my mom. The dinosaurs died too, says Luke. Are you going to cry about them? The dinosaurs, I cry harder. I'm so sad about the dinosaurs. But I don't get it, says Luke. How'd you get lost at the hardware store? It's just one tiny room. My mom sighs. Apparently, Mrs. Gobblegracker was there. And you carried that purse around the whole time, rascal? Asks Violet. What's in it, anyway? Suddenly, I'm furious at Violet. That's what I would like to know. What is in this stinky, smelly, rotten purse? I shout. Even before I open the purse, I've already decided. Whatever that blue, fuzzy thing is inside, I'm going to throw it at her. I reach in and grab it. It bounces off her elbow. Violet screams, ew, what is that? We all stare at it on the floor. It looks like a very old ham sandwich, says my mom. Luke gags and runs away. My mom picks it up with a paper towel and tosses it in the garbage. Everybody calm down. It's no big deal. These things happen, she says. She's disgusting, says Violet, and runs out of the kitchen too. It was in your junky purse, I yell back at her. My mom and I look at each other. We both take a deep breath. Then she asks, how about a bath? In the tub, I tell my mom all my problems. So, let me get this straight, Rainbow. Even though you ran out of the hardware store, you're worried that I'm going to run away and abandon my kids? My mom asks. Don't call me Rainbow, I grumble. You're not Rainbow anymore? She asks. Rainbow's dead, I say. Bad things happen to her. <laughs>